channel. Go on, come to the channel. Subscribe on the channel, okay? Subscribe on the channel, yeah. okay? Well, you're going to school, aren't you? Yeah, and you're going to film Daddy, and you're going to film him at the cars. And here we go, this is where he's going to school. Now, I'm going to Upton Heath School. Okay. So, yeah, so he's going to school, and I'm going to film the car. So, in today's video, we are. The car's just hit 21k. Yeah. So, we're just about to drop my lad off at school. And head off to GPZ Automotive yeah. uh, and have the Haldex serviced. Now, I haven't had the Haldex serviced yet, as I said, I'm on 21k, so it's gonna be interesting to see the state of the pump, uh, especially so, the gauze housing. Today, we're just gonna film to school, and when we get to my door, you can see my teacher. I'm gonna have a little run around in my door. I don't think we'll do that. See Daddy's car shelf. service uh, this car is now I mean I've had this car for new uh, it's done 21,000 miles now I've never had the Haldex service so it's gonna be interesting to see uh, the state of the oil and the actual pump I think it's gonna be minging um, I haven't exactly been conservative in this car so yeah so I'm going to GPZ automotive down in Sandycroft uh, in North Wales uh, for those of you that know GPZ, you'll know how decent uh, those guys are, uh, especially Neil, the owner, uh, he's a real genuine bloke. So yeah, so we're gonna get up the ramps, uh, have a look at the Haldex, I bought a um, Haldex servi servicing kit from, I think I got it from eBay, it was only, uh, it was like 30 quid. So in that, obviously you get the uh, oil, Haldex oil, you get the syringe to put it back in, uh, you get both o-rings as well on the pump housing uh, now mine's gen 5 haldex so i don't have a pre-filter like the gen 4 used to so it'll just be the gauze on the pump we need to take off and clean so anyway whilst we're traveling there i thought i'd just have a chat about states 2 because we've been states 2 now for oh, about two months just over two months something like that uh it's been absolutely mega really has um I mean, the speeds we've had out of this so far is 0 to 60 in 3.48 seconds. I'll put that there. Uh, we've done a quarter mile as well in 11.6 seconds. Uh, now, just to put that in into relation to um, some of the some well-respected cars on the road today, and our brand new RS4, for instance, I'll do a quarter mile in 12.1 seconds. Uh, BMW M4 that does uh, 12 seconds to 12.1 AMG 45S again 12.1 seconds so 11.6 seconds you know we've got quite a considerable gap there uh, I know it doesn't sound much 0.4 of a second or 0.5 of a second uh, but the distance you get is at least four car lengths I'd imagine 
Um, now the RS6, the C7, now that actually does a quarter mile in 11.6. So at the moment, the car is on par with an Audi RS6, which, which is mental. So yeah, so I like the way. So I love the sounds. I mean, the sounds out of this are mega. Uh, you get a little bit of turbo flutter every now and again. <laughs> As I've said before, I really don't like the sound of these cars uh, when they have like a straight through pipe or a non resonated pipe. I just think it's a bit too much, a bit too Asbo. Um, that's got a really mechanical, raspy sound as well. Some systems, uh, I have heard some systems that sort of do away with that and are actually not, not too bad. Um, but I've got the stock cap back on this and I'm intending on keeping that as long as possible. So I'm going to try, when we go to stage 3, to see if we can get away with keeping that stock cat back. The internet's a bit divided on that, because I've heard people that say you can't go stage 3 and keep the stock cat back. Uh, and on the other side, I've had people messaging me saying, yeah, I'm on 520 horsepower, I've still got a stock cat back. So, it's a bit divided. Now, I'd imagine, personally, it's going to be a bit of a restriction. Um, but, the turbo we're putting on is rated to... About 530, uh, I've seen people with 550 with uh, meth injection. But what, we're not having meth injection, so, well, not yet anyway. So I reckon with the stock cat back, we can just creep over 500 horsepower. Uh, but we'll see, I guess. Let's see how fuel economy. You're not going to believe this, but um, I mean, about 420 horsepower, I've actually got 46 miles per gallon. I'm not even joking. Have a look at that crazy. I mean obviously I was driving like a Grammy. Nice. Yeah with the uh, exhaust at the moment with just the decat pops and bangs quite nicely. It's not like overly ice bowl loud. Uh, I like that.
Uh, we fall. There we go. Must be. Does it start coming out? Yeah. 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 so shocked at how dirty that filter was. Uh, I mean this car's done, well it's done 21,000 miles now. Now Audi do that service for the Haldex um, every 30,000 miles and after seeing the state of that at 21,000 miles um, I'll be having that done every 10,000 miles. Um, it's an absolute state it really was. for this video um, if you're new to the channel please don't forget to like and subscribe click that little bell icon so you know when I've uploaded the video there's a nice little surprise at the end of this video big things happening in the next couple of days so you're not gonna want to miss it so please like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video so guys big thanks to GPZ for uh, doing the Haldex I know got a little surprise as well so next to go on the car is this bad boy so this is a Technics V4 now the reason I chose this over the V5 is because uh, this spool is almost identical to the standard IS38 uh, so I'm still gonna have that drivability there this is a 550 horsepower rated turbo so we're gonna fit this on Friday along with the fuel pumps and it's off to get mapped on Monday. So, stay tuned to the channel. You're not going to want to miss this. <laughs>